Welcome everybody to the MyCandleCharts.com. This is the fireside chat. So again, this is where we go through some different topics, different items. It's all geared to helping you, to help you develop better trading habits and skills and uh, make you a better trader, make you more successful, but also to help you relax and enjoy the trading as opposed to always fighting, uh, try, trying to make those pennies and those bucks. There we go, risk disclosure, found at candlecharts.com forward slash disclosure. Please make sure you've read and understand the risks of trading prior to placing any trades. Very, very important. Doesn't matter what anybody says. Doesn't matter what I say. I may say I'm buying uh, SPY right now. Yeah, but it's good for me. It's good for my strategy. You need to make sure you've got a strategy. And we're gonna talk about strategy here in a second. Uh, so again, there's some, some very pertinent things that you're really gonna want to pay attention to because it's gonna make all the difference in the world to you. So let's get in. First things first, I'll well, tell you what, I'm gonna throw this link here. I'm gonna throw this in the chat box. So that, there we go, boom, that's in the chat box. And I'll tell you what, I'll respond to the last message in the question box, and I'm gonna throw it there and send send that back to everyone. That's where that link is. Now this is kind of cool. Uh, and again, the reason why is when you can see at the top here, Summer Camp, that's our next small group coaching program that we've just put together and it's going on for seven weeks. If you sign up for both themes, and we're calling them themes, we've got entries and, and well, basically looking at exits as well, but it's, it's the, the whole trade. Uh, that's the Summer Camp, that's what that is. You can click on that button and go and check that out. We'll do that in a second here. Then we've got the Camel Charts Library. If you think you just need a little bit more, I'm gonna say a little bit of education of, uh, you know, how to do this, how to do that. Uh, you know, come and check out the library. Nissen Candle Scanner, again, a powerful tool. And we're going to show you some tri tips and tricks on that today. There, there's a lot to it, uh, the Nissen Candle Scanner. Um, so, again, you know, you might want to check that out. See if it might be fitting, a little bit more fitting for you. Maybe it can help you. And, of course, then we've got the, the whole My my Candle Charts tab here as well. And if we let's, let's go through that one. There we go. My Candle Charts. So again, and we're going to talk about what this is. And basically, you know, again, my candle charts is where we host. Well, we've got daily Monday to Friday. We've got uh, at least two different recaps of the market. So, we, you know, for example, we'll have a daily recap. We've got weekly recaps, strategy sessions. We go through the Forex focus. We talk about options on Wednesdays. Uh, and, and again, so here, here are the different models. Again, a lifetime subscription. And the lifetime is going to get you a lot, lot more. So if you get, uh, there you go, monthly subscription you're going to get the recaps, but you're going to miss out on a lot of powerful tools and stuff. So again, check, check these links out. It's good. You can see again, what it all includes. Uh, so let's, let's come back. We'll just click back here and we'll go through this one by one. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to do it backwards, but here we are on the Nissan candle scanner itself. Right. And if, and it's exciting for new candle candlestick traders, but also if you literally just want to have a quick peek to see well, what, what is that candle? Is it powerful enough? Boom. It's going to tell you straight off. So that would be the highlighter, but you can use the scanner to find amazing things that are happening or maybe just happened. And now you want to take advantage of it. And again, we'll take, we'll take a quick look at that. And the candle charts library again, hopefully a lot of you guys know where that is. Again, we've got the quick start program. We've got express class, get a quick feel for well, what are candlesticks? What are candle patterns? What does this all mean? Um, there you go. I mean, that'd be quick introductions for you. We've got, uh, let me, let me grab that spotlighter again. Boom. Again, over here, you can see, again, the, there's the recognition software. So Nissan Candle Highlighter, Nissan Candle Scanner. I'm using the scanner. Interme intermediate classes. Yeah, that's the express class. We've got advanced classes as well, like the Mega Pack. I love this one. This is, this is well worth reviewing a couple times a year. There is so much information in this. And sometimes you get a little bit tired and bored of your one strategy and you want to upgrade it. Steve has done a great job of putting these things together. Uh, you know, So again, there, there's the Mega Pack. Then we've got the comprehensive options and we've also got the comprehensive frontline Forex. Uh, interactive training, again, so yeah, mycandlecharts.com. Again, those are the ones that we host every evening towards the close of the market. One-on-one uh, -on -one coaching, we've got Kaizen on demand. Again, there's coaching involved in that as well. Uh, summer camp and other small group coaching. And there, there we go, we'll just scroll that down a little bit more. And yes, yeah, so we heard a few more people signing up already for summer camp. So we'll talk about that in a second. Special topics, and I'm going to show you that in a second as well. If you're not sure what you want, again, just fill out the form. Someone will contact you and discuss with you, what do you really want to achieve? What do you want to accomplish? Okay, this course does this, this does that. How can we help you? It's not a hard sales pitch. It's about informing you as to what's really going on here. 
Uh, and then we've got live training recording in the library as well. So let's come back here. And again, I know we're going through this quickly. You, you can review this. This is gonna be posted here shortly. And actually we've got this video up here. Once we've got this video that I'm doing right now completed, that's gonna be filling this in. So later on tonight, give, give it an hour, a couple of hours, boom, that'll be filled in right here. Uh, rest of a strategy session on trading with the trend. Now, well, Adrian, I see you've just left, so we'll hold off on that comment and wait and see. Yeah, so there we go. Uh, follow us on YouTube. Did you guys know that? Have you subscribed to the YouTube or the Facebook or Twitter or Instagram? Again, you'll get those, you get like little regular updates, you know, spotlights and just little um, things that we've sort of come across that, oh, hey, by the way, did you see this? Uh, and this is what it can do for you. How could you have taken advantage of it? Here we go. Let's take a look here at our summer camp. Summer camp. There we go. So again, you can just click on that button. You can take a look at the quick video as to what we're going to be doing there. Uh, and there you go. There are the prices. We look down here. And if you sign up for both, you get the bundle package here for $239. You get the clinic bonus thrown in for free. And this one's going to be good. We're going to be looking at support and resistance techniques and how to use this with your strategy. How is it going to help you? How's it going to support you to make more money? Isn't that what it's all about, really? So again, there's a lot of powerful information. Check out those links. You know, just save that for now. And then again, you can come back and take a look at all of these things. And um, there we go. I did want to show this one as well. This is powerful. Okay, so I'll throw this down in the chat box as well. If you hadn't seen this, because this was emailed out as well. Uh, let me just pop that in there. I'll send that to everyone. So it's in the link there. So as you can see, it's candlecharts.com forward slash special forward slash spotlight hyphen bouncing ball setup. I don't know. A lot of people have heard about the bouncing ball, right? It's, in, it's an incredible thing, but we've now got sort of a three series video. So Paul did the first one here. He sort of created the bouncing ball strategy and he shared that for, for free to everyone, right? Then I did a follow-up of, okay, this is how I would have entered. So Paul did the setup of, hey, look at, hey, I just found a hammer, got a potential bouncing ball. Here's support and resistance areas, target areas. And I said, hey, by the way, did you see this as a potential entry? And yes, for you option traders, I was talking about options in this little video. And look, at you can see it's only a five minute video. Paul's was 12. He had a little bit of extra info about the support and resistance and why it was placed there. Mine was a five minute, just a little update. And then I did a little summary, two and a half minutes. Hey, 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 look at how this trade worked out for me. Doubling my money in two days, virtually doubled in two days. Hitting the targets in and out, and it was that simple. Using options, and it was simple. And it was so good. So again, we're looking to do a couple more of those, but uh, you know, again, check this out and, and see. Um, well, there's the link for the fireside chat we're just doing there. You know, there, there's again, the link for the summer camp again, if you're on this link as well, uh, just click on that, sign up, and we'd love to see you tomorrow. Um, so yeah, there, I mean, a lot of good information already. I know I ran through that quite quickly, but a lot, a lot of powerful information. So what I did want to also show you there, oh, there we go. We're back to our homepage. Let's come back to our homepage here for the mycandlecharts.com. I think a lot of, a lot of people do have this, but for those that are new to mycandlecharts.com, Seems to be a problem there with, uh, oh, there we go. There it is. So you can see the chart of Apple. There it is. But again, you scroll down here and you can see all, all these nice bubbles in here and you can see what's going on. So again, we've got, a, we've got a calendar. So you can see when things are being done, when our recordings are being made. Chart of the day, trade setup of the day. And again, it's educating you to understand different types of setups. So Adrian asked the questions, you know, trade setups tend to concentrate on reversals, but strategy session on trading with the trend. Well, we're trying to cover off everybody. So again, we're looking at chart of the day and trade setups to give you some ideas of possible setups. What could you look for? What might it mean for the market? Um, and as Adrian went on to say that, yeah, in the strategy session, it's like, well, trading with the trend is easier. We've got a lot of swing traders in there. And as a matter of what, well, when should I enter? It's already started to go up. Well, right. So you're going to look for this. You're going to look for this. You're going to do this. And there's your stop loss and there's potential targets. So again, just different material to help people out. To help you all become a little bit more rounded, a little bit well-rounded, and to expand your understanding and comprehension of what's the market really doing. And there we go. There, there's our daily market recap. Tell you what, I'm going to click on that just so you can see it. Daily market recap. Well, well, 
video not found. So you come down here, click on July 11th. So that was yesterday. Boom, it loads up and you can see it. And you can review that if you missed it. Or again, you can see we go back for about a month. And uh, yeah, let's take this back in. So there we go, options outlook. Again, again, all of this material, everything that we do is recorded and saved somewhere. Uh, international recaps, Forex focus, we got all that good stuff. Look on the left side here, we've got casual trader, chart challenge, chart of the day, got, you know, again, more links. Some of them are duplicated from down below up to here. Again, multiple places where you can find these things. But here's the powerful thing. If you're an annual or a lifetime member of mycandlecharts.com, you get to come over onto this side. Uh, there you go, special topics as an example. Now the recent special topic, and yeah, Shirley knows about this. I'm pretty sure you saw this also in the small group coaching, and we'll talk about this come tomorrow as well. Uh, but we're not gonna be reviewing creating your strategy, but this is what this is. This was a special topic about trading strategy. You gotta create, when you've gotta have a strategy, or your strategy, well, I, mean, I was gonna say your strategy just isn't gonna work. You can't create your strategy as you're sort of just walking down the road. You gotta have one that's sort of repetitive and you can repeat that. And, um, you know, check this out. This should help you become more successful at trading repetitively and make your life easier. So again, that's, what's, that's, our, that's our most recent special topic. And if you click on the full list, and again, this is for the annual and lifetime members. Look at all look at all the good stuff we've got in here already. Now again, if you're not a lifetime or annual member, you can still buy these. That's no problem. You've got a very reasonable price on these. You can buy the ones that suit you best. Trading cryptos, we've got price target profits, trade management. Uh, there's at least four option strat option documents in here, which is quite nice. Support and resistance, kind of important for all of them. Candles and divergence. Exits, we got uh, entries down here somewhere I thought I just saw as well. Uh, East West, Nissan Trading Principles. That one's very, very powerful. If you haven't seen that one already, I recommend you get on that and check that out, especially if you're an annual or lifetime member. Yeah, I was, you know, get on that today uh, and sort that out. And of course, we've got a bonus section and general information. So again, a lot of good stuff in here, really. And that's the power of mycandlecharts.com. Well, there's so much good information. So I want to show you, a, I'm going to say a live chart. Two things that I want to show you on this, actually. Sometimes we get uh, a lot of questions. And you know what? The tools that we're using, the tool that I've got here is Ninja Trader, and I've got the Nissan Candle Scanner installed. But here, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll uh, make that a little bit bigger so we can see this. And there we go. There's two things, and we'll show you the other chart in a second here. But look at this. So this is a daily chart, Home Depot. Look, the 50 period and the 200 period moving average of cross. We got that's a dead cross. That's what Steve calls them, a dead cross. Market is now downtrending. Look, this is written out, bear sash. You don't have to understand. It says it tells you right there, bear sash, a down red arrow. It means the market, well, it means that the bear sash is a negative potential signal. You want to be careful of that. Right, so, you know, bearish engulfing. So you know, I, I, bearish engulfing here. So I'm I'm going to be, I say, a little less concerned with the high wave count. I'm not going to be taking long positions from there, but if I start to see a high wave at a support area or a potential support area, I'm going to light my load or change my stop loss settings. Probably probably look at my my take profit area and, and look to bail out. You know, it's a bull sash here. Well, I'm not going to go long there. The trend is down. I'm going to look for the bearish engulfing. Bear sash, boom, 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 and then we came down. Then we came back up again, retested here, and we fell back down again. Isn't that great? So again, that's Home Depot. Let's take a look. So again, this actually comes into the 60-minute time frame. Again, to each their own different time frame. So here, I just want to pull this back so we can see where we were really downtrending here, even on the 60-minute time frame. And there you go. Big Bear Sash on the 60 minute time frame. And you see, I don't have the full name. I've only got the abbreviations here. If you know what SH means, and it's got a little minus before it and a, and a red arrow, you know that means Bear Sash. Bearish engulfing. Well, why? Because the because it's got a minus E and it's got a red arrow. Bearish engulfing. Falling window, because it's got, again, you can see it's a falling window. Piercing pattern, and it's got a plus beside it, because yeah, it, it's a green candle. That's how piercing patterns are. Potentially reversing. But keeping in mind, again, it's a downtrending market. So again, we're gonna be looking for potential negative signals. As you can see, there's quite a few along here. So again, Steve always said, and I know this from the mega pack, because I've listened to that, I'd like to say a hundred times, maybe not quite a hundred times, but a lot of times, 
trading with the trend. Again, those trading principles actually that I showed you that video on the uh, in the My Candle Chart section there, trading with the trend, use that as your friend. Very, very powerful. It doesn't mean that you don't look for potentially reversing patterns. And again, depends on your time frame. So coming back to our dear friend here, uh, Home Depot, let's take a look on our daily. Piercing pattern, boom. Well, we want to, you know, hammer here, right? So again, what are we going to do with the hammer? Look for some potential retracement in here. And look, we did go back up. So well, let's just take a look at this one for a second here. I'm not going to take away from Paul's uh, video at all. That was the 20th of May. Let's pull this over to the 20th of May. Take a little look, see here. And what happened on the 20th? Now, keep in mind again, the hammer happened on the 20th. That's here. Boom, 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 boom. Look what happened the next day. Then we flopped down two days later. And look, then we had a bull sash. So yeah, this is this is a um, reversal in a downtrending market. So again, it's a counter trend trade. But yeah, isn't isn't this good? So for Adrian's question, yeah, I mean there's opportunities everywhere you look. It depends how you want to trade. That's your choice. So again, the hammer was in here. We had some good retest of the lower shadow. That's what the bouncing ball is all about. Uh, and then boom, we got some traction. Got some traction. Well, where do you want to enter? Maybe on the bull sash. Maybe you want to wait till we get above the 10 and the 50. Okay, and here's your confirmation and extra confirmation right here. Well, we did take off from there. There was some good trade, good profit. So let's see on the daily chart over here, there's your hammer. So we entered somewhere in and around on one of these two candles and look what we got up to, just over the 50 period moving average. Look back here, yeah, there's some resistance. That's what we're looking at. And yeah, time to get out, bear sash, boom, and we fell back down again. So yeah, bear sash, right? So we can come back over into our, let's say our 60 minute time frame. So that's the 31st. Just pull that back a little bit. Take the confusion. So there we are on the 31st. All right, so we came down only into the 50 and the 200. We, we bounced up again, double top here. Mm, right, okay, what's that mean? Don't know yet. Falling window, okay. And we come back up and retest again, making a lower high. Now we're underneath the moving averages. Boof. One simple trade. And on the 60 minute time frame, just look at your 10 period moving average, maybe as an example. So exiting here, that's around 282. We could have entered, let's say on that candle there, 292. That was a $10 move in one, two, three, four days. A $10 move. And you guys know on your options, that probably would have been fantastic. You would have been thrilled to have that probably for a month. Sachin, you've got a question. I see your hand up there. What's your question? Hello, Sachin. No, no question. Okay, well, we'll come back. I'll put your hand down for now and we'll carry on. And so there we go. So yeah, check out, check out those videos on the bouncing ball. It's not just about trading hammers, but it is about retesting areas. Uh, so I just showed you actually on this hammer here as well. That's exactly what we talked about. Now, this piercing pattern, actually, if we come onto that one and, and I noticed that it wasn't quite as, wasn't quite as nice. Uh, what did we see there? So that was in here. That's where we had the big bullish engulfing. Um, sorry, sorry, piercing pattern there. And that, yeah, sorry, on the 12th. Yep, so it was a piercing pattern. Still a pretty good forceful pattern on the 12th. Boom, we came up, we came down, right? This is on the 60 minute time frame. And there you go, end of the day or first thing in the morning, we're closing above the 10 period force. We've already had the pierce, another piercing pattern and a bullish engulfing here. Got some good confirmation. Yeah, we came up, we pulled back, we went up again to your 200, just over a couple of days. You've got some profit. There, there's a nice counter trend trade. Wasn't hard. Just need a little bit of patience. That was about all really. Uh, so what else? Again, any questions that you guys have maybe about what we've discussed already, what we're doing right now, again, in terms of summer camp, which starts tomorrow. Uh, really looking forward to have a few more people join up. We've only got a few seats left, but again, the more the merrier. Uh, it, it is very interactive, or it's, it's as interactive as you want it to be. But again, everybody's welcome to unmute and ask their questions. And we're gonna go through a little mini, a mini yeah, I say a mini lesson, and then we're gonna answer questions. Again, questions that you have. How do I trade this? How do I that? What went wrong here? What went wrong there? Right, let's take a look at it. Let's show you how to analyze things. So again, um, you know, we took it, we we're gonna take a look at some good things here. So, right, 
let me do this. And I wanted to bring back, as Paul asked, Paul asked me to share this with you guys. So there we go. So I'm going to bring this screen up here and I'm going to write on the screen so that you can see it here. So, and I had already told you, that, you know, this video here, I, I didn't write it out, but again, I discussed it. Uh, with with my signal of when to enter. So again, Paul discussed, boom, we find the hammer. That's the start of the bouncing ball. Then it's the question of how much retesting do we do of the lower shadow, right? Uh, so I said, okay, potential entry here. And then, on, and then on video three, I went through and said, okay, I said, X marks my spot. And I entered here. And I said, let's say we entered with one option contract for $1.80. So yeah, I, it's going to cost you $180. Is that look close enough? 180 bucks. That's your risk in the trade. Buy a call option, one single, and I'll put that over here, one single call option. And it went up to, I'm just trying to, it was not not quite, not quite four dollars. I think it was around in the neighborhood of 390 I got out. So there we go. That was that was a double. And that was in two days. So yeah, so $390. So again, double that in two days. You know, okay, Brian, you know, a couple hundred bucks, 180 bucks, that's not very much money. Well, I'll tell you what, if you don't like that, then make it two contracts, make it three. I showed you how to get in with a better safety valve to say, hey, look, we've had a retest of the lower shadow. Now it looks like we're going, right? Maybe you wanted five contracts. Well, now it's $1,000 or just shy of $1,000. Again, a lot of opportunity here, and with options, I'm going to say it's un, I say it's unlimited. Uh, it's unlimited based upon really based. You know, what, how how do you want to trade? How much do you want to trade? What do you want to put at risk? Where do you want your safety features uh, built in? And what candle patterns are really more suited to you? If that makes sense. So, what questions do we have? Who's who's still with us? Uh, just type something in or raise your hand if you want to speak. That's all right. Nick, welcome. I see you there. Paul, Pawan, how you doing, Peter? Yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's see what else we got going on there. So we've got a few minutes left here. Uh, let me just double check here. So yeah, some some summer camp that is starting tomorrow and we're going to go through about entries that you know that's our big thing starting really um for the next section of summer camp let's just go through that and i'll talk in a little bit more detail slowly here so we look at precision entries so the first three sessions and this is this is our theme is and we're going to have three sessions for this theme of precision entries identifying the best markets that suit your needs not my needs it has nothing to do with me it has to do with you uh, incorporating the best combination of indicators again you need western indicators steve always said look at candle patterns are the one that give you the final go ahead buy or sell whatever the case might be but you do need to use some type of western indicators support and resistance being probably the biggest one of course uh, how to configure of course the best time frame charts for your style of trading again it has nothing to do with me it has to do with only you guys uh, creating and developing your own str uh, trading strategies putting it all together with a check checklist a takeoff checklist to get you going so starting tomorrow july 13th the 20th and the 27th it's going to be held at 12 noon eastern time it's going to be held for an hour yes it's going to be recorded yes there's a facebook group and more and we're going to give a little bit of homework to help you again to get this all solidified so then the, the second theme is ringing the register. And I know that might sound funny, but, it, you know, again, entering the trade is one thing. When the heck do you get out? Where do you put your stop loss? Do you use a stop loss based upon where the next candle closes or where it travels through? Layering in and out of trades, managing your trades while while you're still active in a trade, actually. Utilizing very type, various types of stops, having your exit plan in place before you even enter journaling your trades again analyzing and getting the most out of it all right and again that starts august 10th and of course again if you sign up for the bundle as i said then then you get the the clinic bonus and that one's going to be fun it's going to be held on a saturday that's august 6 at 9 30 a.m eastern time so it's bright and early on a saturday get in and get out and get on with your day and you know again we're gonna have we're gonna have a lot of fun in that well cat we can take a quick look here I look at SPY all the time. Let's take a look at the triple Qs. There we go, that's all loaded up. Okay, and I'm gonna zoom that out. So if you're looking on the daily side, on the on the right-hand side, trend direction, anybody, does anybody know the trend direction? 
just type that in. If you do, I'll give you a hint. It's definitely coming down. You don't even need your moving averages on there. You can see that. I mean, there's a high. We're significantly lower. It's going down. Yeah, right. So what am I looking for? Well, I'm going to look. Yeah, we've had a pullback here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have. Here's your 60-minute time frame. Yeah, we came up, went sideways. Yeah, a little bump up. Okay, we came back down again into a support area here. It's a pretty good support area. And we really hoofed it around again, right back into this resistance area. That was a couple of days ago. Uh, actually, on Friday. There you go. There's Monday and there's today. And the 10's almost ready to cross the 50. The 50 is still underneath the 200 on the 60 minute time frame. Well, depends when this one closes. We've got another three minutes. Yeah, again, initially I'd be looking down for potential support at 280 because we've hit it a couple of times. So, well, maybe 270 to 280, somewhere in that vicinity. And if I look over here on the daily, yeah, again, we're going to be looking significantly lower. Now, it doesn't mean we're not going to go up. The 10, for me, I use the moving averages, the 10, the 50, and the 200 exponential. 10 hasn't quite crossed underneath the 50. That's pretty significant for me. I may wait another candle or two. May wait for it to come down a little bit and then pull up and then turn back down. And then I'll say, now I'll go short. But overall, again, you look at the daily chart and you're saying, well, it is going in the down direction. We had a bear sash actually yesterday. So today's a little bit weaker. And actually, we're so far, we're right at the same point where we closed yesterday. So again, a little bit of indecision here going on right now. Get it summertime. Yeah. If you're a longer term trader, yeah, well, the trend is still down. Um, yeah, I may be looking for a little bit more pullback towards the 310 to 320 area. And again, these are the things we do talk about during our daily recaps with the mycandlecharts.com. So yeah, yeah. Thank you for that, Kat. That was a good example. Uh, so we got Anita, welcome. Hi, I am new and learning to trade options. Will you be offering the summer camp again? Well, summer camp is for the summer. So it's going to be running for the next, well, we've got three weeks. Then we take a couple of week or so off, and then we've got another three weeks. Uh, and, and it's all about trading. Uh, and, if you, and if you haven't already signed up to, let me bring this back up here. Come back up to, again, mycandlecharts.com. Um, where are we here? Special topics. We got a full list here. And again, you've got credit spreads. Those are for options. We've got debit spreads. Those are for options. Calendar spreads. Intraday options. Uh, so again, a lot of these might help you as well. Just keep that in mind. And uh, what else do we want to say here? My candle chart. So yeah, here we are. Check, check on this link here. So if you're not a member already, again, there's for the 12 month. There's for the, the lifetime membership. And again, it'll tell you everything that you get down here. Check that out. Again, a lot of good information. I think, again, if you if you can join in for the summer camp, you probably should do that now. It's all recorded. And you're going to have access to these recordings for, for quite a while, a couple, good couple of months, three months, maybe longer. Uh, and again, you're going to have access to the Facebook group. So you can still ask questions. Even if you're looking at it as, as a replay, you can still ask questions in there. We'll discuss it on the next meeting or I'll answer it directly in Facebook, depending. Uh, and again, you can come back and say, all right, thank you. Now I get it. Or, oh, right. Okay. But what about this? Yeah. Okay. Then we'll review that. Uh, so get this summer camp, I think, again, not to be missed. It's, it, yeah, especially if you're new to trading and you need maybe a little bit of help. So Daphne, uh, the 10 day moving average. No, I, I only use exponential. I don't, I don't play around with it. I don't have time to play around. I, I've experimented with um, simple moving average and exponential, not a huge difference. Just, I just keep them on exponential, that's it. Not a huge, huge difference. But since you've asked, tell you what, we'll throw in one more here. Uh, well, I gotta look for my, well, I don't use SMA, but there, let's take a look. There it is, SMA, click on that. So there you go, this is how we add that in. Put that on, put that to 10, we'll hit the apply. And I'm gonna pull that off to the side just for now. Now I'll pull it over here. So look, there, there is my 10 period moving average. You can see the blue is the exponential and the golden rod is the simple moving average. They're almost the same. So, you know, again, I think something important, again, I don't want you guys to go away with the idea that, oh, hey, look, it, it has to do this. And until it does that, I'm not going to trade. Well, there's more to trading than just looking at your, I'm going to say the technical aspect of, oh, right, the moving averages have crossed. What's going on? Well, I want to look at the force. So look, we just had a, we just had a piercing pattern here on the triple Qs in the last hour. 
So now I'm looking at that and saying, right, well, okay, well, what's happening with this next candle pattern? So yes, I'm gonna say the 10 hasn't quite crossed under the 50, so I'm a little bit concerned. I wanna see how this candle is going to finish off. Well, there we go, it's just finished. Am I gonna go short the market there now? No. Uh, this, this is, oh, this has got a few minutes delay, I think, on it, and that's why that hasn't quite closed, sorry. Uh, so again, I'd be looking at that and say, if that closed now, I'd be saying, ooh, I'm not gonna go short unless I want a higher risk trade. Yes, we're underneath the 200, which is a big, long moving average. We're sitting on the 50 period moving average. Now I'm going to put a little bit more emphasis on the 10 and say, well, I'd like to see the 10 come down a little bit more and sort of nudge us back underneath the 50 period moving average. That's that's all. But, you know, again, still got to look at the candle patterns, um, the force of them. So it's not just that it's a bullish engulfing. What force is behind it? Boom. Am I going to trade this bullish engulfing? The heck no, not on the 60 minute time frame. maybe on a 10 minute time frame. but looking at this, no, there's your resistance, the 10, there's your resistance, the 50, there's your resistance, the 200. But what happens here? We come down, we make a higher low, we start to skip along sideways and then we get over the moving averages and we zoom. Thank you very much, I'll take that. Makes sense, hopefully that makes sense. Good, and thank you for those questions. I think that's quite valuable. I'll call on Paul. Actually, Paul, do you have any question or anything else you want to add to this uh, before I wrap up? I don't know if Paul's out there, if he can hear us, but he'll come on. I can hear you, Brian. Yeah, there you are. Hey, thank you um, for doing another great session as always and just kind of opening up the eyes to different ideas of all the different programs that we do offer. Uh, I can tell you, I just saw two people sign up for summer camp and that's great. Remember, you do have recording access. Um, if you're going through other education, you could always do both simultaneously, uh, meaning you could watch your education now, you could go into summer camp tomorrow, watch recordings and, and um, just get new ideas. You know, and the analogy I always talk to you, Brian, about, and you, and I even talked to you about it earlier today. When you get to a signature program like summer camp, hey, Mahendra, um, when you get to a summer camp program where you have interaction not only with you, Brian, but with other students in the room, you'll get one idea or a simple concept that you can utilize when you're looking at a chart, and that could make all the difference in the world. When I did that video last week on IP. I was using the Nissan Candle Scanner, do my normal scans. I go through my scan uh, quickly each day, and there it was, there was IP. And when I did that video, I knew exactly what I was looking for. But then you did your video, I got a new idea from it, and I did a trade off of it as well. So I just want to thank you, Brian, for giving me an idea back on my idea. Mahendra, you got three emails already about summer camp. Check out your spam or your junk. We sent that out multiple times. So please check that and get back to me if you didn't get that yet, okay? I know you're signed up for summer camp uh, and we did send that email out a few times. Um, so the idea, what I was saying about that uh, bouncing ball setup that I did last week where I found the setup and I know what I've been doing it for, for years. You looked at it a little bit different than I do, a little bit shorter time frame. And there it was. There was another trade that I made off of a bouncing ball setup that I never would have done if I didn't get your video. So thank you for that. And that's what I'm trying to say what summer camp is. It's kind of like, you know, and the analogy again, I was starting to say before, if you're doing something you've never done before, you know, I've never gone fishing before or really gone fishing. I've gone, you know, little dinky fishing. <laughs> but if you're going fishing, it's one thing to read the book or the article. It's another thing to go to the store and buy a fishing rod. It's a completely different thing to go out on a boat with a seasoned fisherman, fisherwoman, either way, and have them show you the ropes, have them show you what works, what doesn't work. Here's a couple of strategy ideas about how you can catch more fish. And if you're going fishing, your intent is to catch fish. If you're trading, your intent is to make profits. So why not be in a room not only with Brian, who has decades of trading experience, but with all the other students and all their trading background and experience as well that can contribute to your success. So today's session, Fireside Chat, was about showing some of the tools that we have available here at Candle Charts between our software and the My Candle Chart membership for daily ongoing guidance, but putting it all together in a signature program like Summer Camp 
which will really open up your eyes to how to enter into trades in the first theme and how to exit out of trades. Anybody could enter a trade. It's how do you exit? And what we're calling ringing the register about how to cash in some profits. Learning how to do that appropriately is really what it all uh, it all comes down to. So uh, Puang's question, where are we gonna access the recording of today? We're gonna put it right on the page. You're gonna get an email uh, right there on that page. The recording will be put right in that video spot and you'll have access to it in a little bit after the session is done. We'll get an email out to you once it's ready to go. Okay, uh, Brian, that was all I wanted to say. I just wanna thank everybody for taking the time to come in and check out uh, some of our tools. And if you have other questions for Brian, by all means, Brian, stick around for a couple minutes if you can, and I'll be here too as well if anybody else has a question. Yeah, absolutely. There was one other thing that I wanted to add to that, Paul. You can counter trend trade, which is the, that's the, rever the potential reversal trades. We're gonna go through any summer camp, we're gonna be talking about that. Well, how would you do it and why? One of the things, and why did that come up? Well, because I was thinking here, daily trend, well, there's the triple Qs, right? So we see, oh, we got some bull sash, we've got, oh, we've even got a morning star there. Yeah, we're downtrending. I'm not gonna be going long based upon a morning star in a downtrending market on the daily chart now, but I'll come over to my 60 minutes and say, is there something I could do in there? Yes or no? Possibly, possibly not. And if not, then I'm gonna say, okay, where is my next well, trade where I can buy puts or short the market. I know there's futures traders out there as well and all sorts of things. So, you know, again, I had somebody who used to write into me regular and say, you know, he was trading a very, very small time frame. He says, hey, look at, yeah, you know, boom, 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 look at this. I had, I had an evening star here. It doesn't work. So the evening star does work. Let me give you, let me give you an example here and I'm going to use a marker. So you see, we have nice evening. Star. I love evening stars. They're powerful. They're big. They're beautiful. And, there, and there's the red arrow right there. So there it is right there. Why did that not work? Well, there's a support area. There's a window right there. So I even put a support area down there. Um, yeah, it worked on the 60 minute time frame. And again, I'm being very specific with my words and lingo. We were coming in the up direction. We were significantly raised off of this point down here. Yeah, that's significant. So yeah, I'm looking at this and saying, hey, hey there's a more an evening star there. Shouldn't we just all go out and buy puts? Well, no, you shouldn't. You, first of all, you need a strategy. So again, go and get your strategy, check out that video. But again, consider, is this part of your strategy to go counter trend literally for pennies? You know, you're literally dumpster diving for just pennies. What's that? Is the NCS available for the TOS platform? Well, uh, you can use Ninja. The Ninja platform, by the way, is free. So all you need to do is get the NCS, the Nissan Candle Scanner, and the TOS Think or Swim actually gives you the free data feed. So it's great that you've got a Think or Swim account. You can link that into the Nissan Candle Scanner or into Ninja actually, and you'll have all that free data feed. So you have live data feed on here. Remember I was saying this, this candle hadn't quite closed. Well, yes, because again, the timing's off because on the triple Qs, I don't have live data feed. I don't trade triple Qs, so I don't need to see it. I trade SPY, oops, let's turn that over to SPY. So again, yeah, if I had a Thinkorswim, but if you don't live in the US, I don't think you can get Thinkorswim. So there you go, a similar, similar look here, actually, and I'm gonna zoom that in so we can see that. But hey, yeah, um, would, I be, would I be happy to go short with that? No, no, I'm not happy there. Uh, that was looking not bad, but again, you see again, we're a little bit overextended away from the 10 period. I wanna see a little bit of pullback here and then us roll over. But I'd like to see that 10 eh, nudge down a little bit more, even if it doesn't quite cross, I wanna see it a little bit closer. Now, if I'm gonna go for about a you know two, three, five week trade, yeah, I'd probably be looking to go short and just say, well, yeah, it's gonna be okay because there we are. We're already downtrending on the daily, so I'm happy with that. We're downtrending here. Yeah, I'm happy with that. You know, the 50s underneath the 200, that works out for me. So yeah, that, that would be okay. So, right, so you can't use NCS on your Thinkorswim. All you do is download Ninja Trader, which as I say, is free. Yeah, and that would do us. So, all right, so thank you very much, everybody. Glad you joined in. As I say, this is gonna be, this recording is gonna be up there shortly. Just hang tight. Uh, we'll get that converted. Might take about 30 minutes to an hour to get that up for you. Uh, yeah, and you're welcome, Daphne. Yeah, looking forward to seeing you on the summer camp. That'll be great. Boz, you use Thinkorswim for all trades. Yeah, exactly, well, I, I, and I use Tastyworks. 
So again, so again, this in candle scanner doesn't work on tasty works. So that's why I have Ninja Trader and I keep my tasty works open to the side. When I see something, then I go to tasty and make a trade. It's that simple. And example studies uh, already in, I, I don't, don't know what you're trying to say there, Boz. When we enter the trade, I'm sure we use candle support area. Well, yeah, we're gonna talk about that actually on the summer camp. Uh, yeah, I look at implied volatility before I take a trade to understand if I want to get in or not, but I'm still using the candle patterns and the candle closes to determine where I'm exiting or, or where my stop loss is of the, oh shoot, it's not going in the right direction. Yeah, very good. Super, everybody. I look forward to seeing you guys in the summer camp tomorrow. Yeah, join us if you can. Uh, and if not, again, get into the Facebook group. Let's get the questions going and we'll make it valuable so that you, again, are finding more success with your trading. We want to see everybody profiting. And, and again, especially come fall, when the big traders come back, be nice that, again, we're trading with them and we're making money right because of them. That's the, that's the jewel of it, right? We don't want to be fighting for the money. Let's do it easily. Thanks, everybody. Take care and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.